हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस केमिस्ट्री पेपर ऑफ नीट 2013 कोड एक्स सो स्टार्टिंग विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स व्हिच इज द मोनोमर ऑफ नियोप्रेन इन द फॉलोइंग एज वी नो नियोप्रेन इज अ पॉलीमर एंड दैट इज यूज्ड फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सिंथेटिक रबर द मोनोमर used for the preparation of neoprene is chloroprene so we must see in the option where is chlorine see the structure of second option there is chlorine so this compound is chloroprene and answer become 2 now the next question question number 2 a magnetic moment of 1.73 bohr magneton will be shown by one among the following here the magnetic moment is given and we have to find out the option see what is the formula magnetic moment which is represented by mu this is equal to under root n n plus 2 bohr magneton now in this question the value of magnetic moment is given 1.73 and here n is the number of unpaired electron so formula becomes n n plus 2 if we solve this equation the value of n is coming out to be 1 it means the complex must have one unpaired electron now if you can see here the nickel is present in the plus 2 state and nickel in plus 2 state it means its electronic configuration will become 3d8 and 3d8 it means there is two unpaired electron so this option cannot be the answer the second option is tcl4 here titanium is present in the plus 4 oxidation state the electronic configuration of titanium is 3d2 4s2 and here oxidation state is plus 4 so there is zero electron no chances of unpaired electron the third option is cocl6 4 negative we can see that cobalt is present in the plus 2 oxidation state and in plus 2 oxidation state the electronic configuration of cobalt shows that it is having unpaired electron equal to 3 if it is tetra amino copper complex so in this structure copper is present in the plus 2 oxidation state and plus 2 oxidation state it means its electronic configuration becomes 3d9 so there is one unpaired electron in the complex and answer becomes fourth so here we can write the answer answer is four so let's start with the next question question number 3 Let's see the question number three. A metal has FCC lattice. The edge length of the unit cell is four hundred four picometer. The density of the metal is two point seven two gram per centimeter cube. The molar mass of the metal is. So density is given in the question. Edge length is given in the question, and we have to find out the molar mass of metal. Formula. for calculating the density or interrelating the density and molecular mass is d is equal to z into atomic mass by volume of unit cell into avogadro's number now see density is given in the question it is 2.72 g per cm3 since the lattice type is fcc lattice fcc lattice it means number of atom per unit cell will be taken as 4 so value of z is 4 we have to calculate atomic mass a volume of the unit cell volume of unit cell is a cube here edge length is given 404 picometer first of all we have to convert this into centimeter so it becomes 404 into 10 raised to power minus 10 centimeter this is a cube called volume of the unit cell into avogadro's number 
as we know avogadro's number is 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23 so if we solve this and calculate a the value is coming out to be 27 gram per mole and this is the molecular mass of the solid so answer is 2 now the next question question number 4 question number 4 is a structure of the compound whose iupic name is 3-ethyl 2-hydroxy 4-methyl hex 3 in 5 vinoic acid is. So here the iupic name of the compound is given and we have to find out the correct structure. So how should we proceed? See here the functional group is oic acid. As we know oic acid is the chain terminating group. So first of all mark the COH group as number 1. And count the main chain number of carbon atom present in the word root. It should be hex it means 6. So this is first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth carbon, sixth carbon atom. Both the multiple bond, double bond and triple bond are included in the carbon chain. Now we can relate the structure and IUPAC name of the compound. The position of carboxylic acid, oic acid is 1, 2, 3. 3 is the position of ene which is double bond. 5 is the position of iene that is triple bond and OH group is present at the second carbon atom while ethyl group is present at third carbon atom. Here methyl group is present as fourth carbon atom. So we can relate this that the structure of given compound should be 1. So here answer is 1. 1. So next question, question number 5 is Now see the question number 5. Which of the following structure is similar to graphite? First option boron, second B4C, third option B2H6 and fourth option BN that is boron nitride. So see which of the following structure is similar to graphite? As we know graphite is having hexagonal planar ring structure. And these rings are joined to each other forming a sheet like structure. The similar structure is shown by boron nitride. That's why this boron nitride is known as inorganic graphite. So answer becomes 4. Next question. Question number 6 is. Some metadirecting substituents in aromatic substitution are given. Which one is most deactivating? Now see, aromatic substitution. It means if a group is attached to benzene, it may withdraw electron or it may donate electron. Now in this question, it is asked which one is most deactivating group. So in all these options, sulfonic acid, carboxylic acid, nitro group and cyanide group. You should remember that nitro group is the strongest electron withdrawing group. Because when nitro group is attached to benzene ring, it can withdraw electron from benzene ring through resonance. Through resonance as well as through minus I effect. So nitro group is considered as a strongest reactivating group. Substitution reaction becomes quite difficult in case of nitro benzene. So answer becomes 3. Our next question is question number 7. 